Well then, hello and welcome to a, a new episode. So I've just been out to get myself a bit of shopping, you know, razors, cream, all that, all that good stuff. <laughs> oh, and a toothbrush. Anyway, so the reason why for this intro is uh, basically the, the Wednesday video, the Saturday's video, which you've, which you've already watched, and this is now the Sunday's video, or this might be the Saturday's video. I don't know, I haven't made my mind up yet. But the reason why these videos are really short, they're all 10 minutes long or so, is because I haven't had a chance to get out and travel the whole country to find uh, locations. So this is basically one one day of recording, uh, split into three videos. Now, I know you, a lot of you probably don't like the fact that they're short videos. There's also a lot of you that don't mind the short videos. Now, the problem is, is my uh, watch time and, du and view duration, view duration, duration, uh, is around about 10 minutes anyway. So if I put a 20 minute video up, only 10, like 10 minutes of the video is gonna be watched anyway. So instead of squashing this down to one video and then not having any footage for the Sunday, you know, 10 minute videos, also 10 minute ish videos i just thought it'd be something to watch also you don't spend too much time sat in the house or whatever it's like a quick 10 minute segment of i'm stokesy and then you carry on with your day so this is why i've done it for this week only you know if i don't find anything next week i'm gonna probably do the same so i'm cooking now not literally i ain't got no barbie on or nothing i would like to have barbie but no i've got a dry mouth i'm uh, I'm, I'm i'm well into my 72 hour fasting uh, I feel totally dehydrated, but I'm still gonna go and get a drink. So basically, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop chatting now, I'm gonna get home and start editing so you can watch this video. So uh, again, from me, Stokesy, thank you for watching, and I will see you in five seconds. The first thing we come across is this X-Red uh, Subaru Impreza. As you can see, she's been there a long time. I mean, look at the foliage on the bonnet. This is a poor, poor thing. This is. I mean, it's been there a long time. Look at the, look how sunk the wheels are. The tires are flat as well. Let's see if she's open. Oh, she's open. Oh wow. Look at the seat covers. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is. I wonder what the mileage is. Let's climb in, have a look. I can't see. God, it smells in here. It smells terrible. But yeah, this certainly shouldn't be here. But as, as we all well know, we have a different mindset to the people that own these cars. This is a shame for this poor car. I mean, look at that, how thick the sap is. My oh God, that is thick, being under this tree. Unreal. Let's look around this side. Yep, this side isn't any better. There's a registration if you want to do a bit of research on this one. Again, she's been here a very long time again. She's open, but she's very stuck. That interior is really clean. The mileage on this is 23,000. Can you believe that? 23,000. And judging by the steering wheel, how clean it is. This is a legit 23,000 Range Rover. Look how clean it all is. Look how clean the buttons are. They've still got the shine on them. Oh, this is so sad. Twenty-three thousand mile Range Rover. Check the registration for me, uh, please, and tell me in the comments below if if, if I am right. I cannot believe this is a twenty-three thousand mile Range Rover. Oh, what have we found? If this, it, it, well, look how clean the, the, the clocks are on the dash. They look brand new. They look literally brand new. I am so shocked. 
I mean, look how clean all the buttons are and the original stereo type player. Even the 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 the, the, uh, the heat con the heater controls all in pristine condition. Let's check the. Uh, yep, look how clean that is. This is an absolute crying shame. Hasn't even been used, and look how shiny it is. Oh God. Why do people do this? So this is what this is what you call heartbreaking. I mean, this this poor Range Rover, if it is correct and it's only done that mileage, um, it's now being used as a shed, as you can tell. I mean, it is genuinely heart wrenching. It really is. I'm surprised those lighters haven't gone off, considering how hot it gets in these cars. But yeah. 23,000 mile Range Rover. I mean, look at that. You'd think that this thing has super, super high mileage and it's been abandoned because it's like, you know, end of life type of a vehicle. But the mileage on this Range Rover is just unfucking real. Last on the road in 2005. 2005. I mean, you've got the Subaru, Subaru Impreza behind, and then this beautiful Range Rover here. <sighs> it's locations like this that I love finding because um, it's just it's just the decay, and then knowing that this vehicle has hardly been used. Let's see if we can't pop the bonnet. Well, we've just popped the bonnet on it. Let's have a look. Well then, let's see if this is a uh, true to what the mileage suggests. Oh, she is clean under there. She is very clean. Very, very clean, indeed. Wow. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Let's just close this door up here. Watch this shut. But yeah, look at all the tread of the tyres. The tyres are almost brand new. I mean, underneath, she isn't that bad, really. I mean, like I say, if she is a true, true 24,000 miles, you wouldn't expect this to be in bad nick at all. But she doesn't look bad at all, really considering where she's standing. Let's get down on the old knees. I mean, she looks pretty decent. So we've looked at this Range Rover. Now we're gonna go and look at the one that's directly in front of it and see what the mileage of that one is. But this, I don't know. It's hard to tell it is, it really is. But my personal opinion, I think this is an original mileage. Original 20, 20, 27,000 miles. I think I said 27, but yeah, this is this is original. Now we've got to look at is this here. Now this is the Range Rover that I want. This is the classic. It's not a two door, it's a four door, but this is exactly the type of Range Rover that I want. Yeah, let's not mess with that shoe. For the wheels, I wonder if she's open. Save the wildlife. Oh no, she's locked. Is the back one open? No, she's locked. She's locked tight. Let's go around the other side. No, she's locked up tight, which is a good thing. It is a good thing. Can't really see inside, but she uh, she certainly looks a bit damp in there. Try and get a bit of a, a bit better view. Look at that, ladies and gents. That is a Range Rover. Wow, what a classic! Right there. So this is a, an older Range Rover compared to that one, but this is the style that I love. Especially a two-door, but this is the style that I love. 
this is blue so this was last on the road in I'm not going to scratch that off I can't really tell um, I can't really see but I'm not too sure I think the blue ones are 1990 something so I'm pretty sure this is the, the 11th of the 3rd 1990 something um, but as you can see she's certainly um, been off the road a long time the bonnet to this one's open so maybe we can get into it well we need to vacate this area i've just disturbed the wasp nest need to move um there's a registration anyway so you can kind of see and gauge the mileage and the ownership and all that good stuff um someone's obviously clearly broke the handle off and then left it there to the the rear uh, access point but yeah beautiful range rover left left for dead and it has been left for dead i don't care what anybody says this to me has been left for dead and it's kind of heartbreaking because there's a lot of people out there that would love to restore one to restore this particular range rover um i don't think it'd be worth the money because of how how bad she is but she might have good bones but judging by this step i uh i don't think so right then let's have a look at the uh, the other cars out here this is a uh is it a nissan amir or something yeah, it's an Almira GX. Not really worth worth pondering over, but while we're here, and then in front of that is a Citroen Relay. Yeah, you know, there's not there's no point looking at these. I mean, I know you probably want me to look because people might like these, but this Almira uh, Citroen Relay, not really not really content uh, worthy. So, so next here is this uh, Shogun Sport. Mitsubishi Warrior. I mean, these were good vehicles, these were. I've seen a lot of these abandoned. It's a 2.5 turbo diesel. Um, but you could tell what caliber of a man it is who owns this property because he's got those two Range Rovers there. This here, so he's probably got a few shotguns. So this is kind of a, a proper dodgy location. And obviously he's got solar panels on the roof, so I don't know, it's one of those ones we're going to keep going forward, but old tractor, look at that <laughs> old tractor Isuzu an old series Land Rover here Another Isuzu there. So, awesome uh, old school Range Rover, four door. Another beautiful low mileage Range Rover. Um, obviously, shouldn't be here, but it is. Uh, I've walked up here, there's nothing really worth recording up there. To have a Subaru and Pretza there, and those two Range Rovers, especially that middle one, is kind of heartbreaking. But this is, this is the order mentality. I mean, to us that's watching, this is a crying shame, but to him that owns these these are just uh no longer needed accessories and it's kind of heartbreaking because if that range rover is a genuinely low mileage range rover that there is an absolute crying shame so uh if the video is long enough i will put this video up as one but i don't think it's going to be really worthy for three cars for one video but it might turn out well if i edit it right so i'm gonna end the video here but if i find anything else i'm gonna add to it so as always, from me Stokesy, thank you for watching. Remember, don't limit yourself. I'm sweating like you wouldn't believe. And as always, keep car hunting. And uh, I'll see you, I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>